Hey, what's up guys? Terroronicle545 here with a very quick and very random little ranking video. Whenever we get a new Ninjago season, we additionally get a new intro to go along with it. And given that the franchise is currently 15 seasons and a spin-off series deep, there has obviously been a lot of different intro variations. So I thought it would be fun to sit down today and rank all of them from my least favorite to favorite. However, before we start, I would like to note a couple of things. I'm going to be ranking the actual intros themselves and not the weekend whip covers that go along with them. I'm also not going to be counting variations of one intro as two separate entries. But with all that said, let's get right into the list. You're gonna see throughout this ranking that the two things I love the most in a good Ninjago intro are dynamic movements of the characters and a good lyrical song, most of the time being the weekend win. And the Seabound intro has neither of those. It's just kind of bland and uninteresting to watch. And because of that, it ranks at dead last on the list. The island intro is pretty much the exact same thing as the Seabound intro, just with slightly more interesting visuals. And just a heads up, I'm really not too big of a fan of the Wild Brain style of intro, so pretty much all of them are going to be ranking here pretty close to the bottom. The Season 11 intro was the first one to try out the new Wild Brain format of recapping each previous episode during the intro, and you can definitely tell that this was their first go at doing this format. Despite the fact that it uses easily one of my favorite Weekend Whip covers, the visuals are really what kill it for me. Like, what do these floating screens have to do with the fire or ice chapters? I don't know, ultimately it does have a really good Weekend Whip cover, so that does place it a little bit higher than the Island and Seabound intros. But you can still definitely see the growing pains of Wild Brain trying to adapt this new style of intro to the Ninjago series. The Master of the Mountain intro is a pretty solid evolution of what they were trying to do with the Season 11 one. This time, not only do the visuals tie into the season perfectly, but they are very dynamic to watch as we whip around this cave. I don't really have much else to add, it's just a step in the right direction for the Wild Brain format. Even though the intro that came out before it was a little bit better, but we'll get to that. This one might seem like a bit of a wild card, but I'm gonna be honest, I've always found the rebooted intro really weird. Like, I don't know, the decision to forego individual character shots in favor of introducing all four of the main ninja as once just always struck me as really jarring. Like, changing things just for the sake of changing things, you know? It's also really bizarre that there's like this weird break in the music halfway through when they introduce Sensei Wu. It just kind of unnecessarily ruins the pacing. I don't know, it gets some points for not just being a clip show like the Wild Brain intros, but I definitely think it's the worst of the traditional format. Prime Empire works because while it's just a Wild Brain clip show, it actually makes sense with the seasons to just pan around to a bunch of different screens like this. Also, that opening with the motherboard is just really freaking cool. Definitely gets you hyped up to see the video game world that they're presenting throughout this season. Crystallized easily has the best intro in the Wild Brain format. The framing device of the reflections in the crystals makes a lot of sense and is really cool to whip around and look at, and it has a fantastic lyrical song in the crystallized remix of The Weekend Whip. Easily the best of the Wild Brain format, which is really not saying too much, but hey, how can you not sing along? I just mean, kick back, 
whip around and spin. It's like 4 a.m. right now. I know. Oh, oh, God. Despite Sons of Garmadon being another instrumental season, it does a fantastic job of building up a strong atmosphere for the season at hand. The main Ninjago Overture remix is fine enough, but it's really the visuals that carry this one for me personally. Now this is when the openings get really tricky to start ranking. The Tournament of Elements intro doesn't really do anything wrong per se, it just doesn't really have as much going for it as the other intros higher on the list. I think it's just some little things that kind of add up, such as not adding Zayn once they find him in the actual season and the weird layering of Wu and Garmadon's names. But still, it's got cool dynamic shots of the characters and a good lyrical song. Really the only two things that I can ask for. Just like the Sons of Garmadon intro that preceded it, the Hunted intro does a fantastic job at setting the mood and vibe of the season as a whole. The music, while being instrumental, which I'm not as into, is very dire and frantic sounding, which fits the plot of the season absolutely perfectly. This is matched up with the awesome way that the visuals mirror themselves, further mirroring the season with how the ninja team is split up between the two realms. And you're gonna see as the list goes on that something I really like in a good Ninjago intro is when it's able to reflect an aspect of the season in some way. And this is something that the Hunted intro specifically does fantastically well. Okay, I'm gonna be brutally honest, the New Dragons Rising intro honestly kinda ticks me off a little bit. I think it easily, without a doubt, has the best visuals of any Ninjago intro ever. I mean, come on, just look at this, look at how dynamic it looks, look at how much the colors pop. The new Rise song, while obviously not holding a candle to the weakened whip, is honestly still pretty epic in its own right. But this intro is just so short. It's like 10 seconds long and it's just making me think Lego, you had something really cool here. You could have extended this one out a little bit more. I mean, the song itself is like two and a half minutes long. I don't know, if they just extended this one a little bit and showed us more of these awesome visuals, I honestly think it could have topped the list. But still, at the very least, it's an awesome preview for the types of intros we're going to be getting in the new Dragon's Rising era of Ninjago. This one is a bit of a special case. While typically the goal of a Ninjago intro is to get you hyped up for the season at hand, the March of the Oni intro does something a little bit differently, where it shows us a very beautiful looking recap of the show up until this point. And given that this season is generally considered the big finale for the Masters of Spinjitzu era of the series, I think this works pretty well. The remix of the Ninjago Overture that they use is also really great and gives a really nice reminiscing kind of vibe. And I love the way it ends on a shot of the Omega Oni as a little prelude for what's to come. All in all, this one is easily my favorite strictly instrumental opening. But hey, like I've been hinting at, you just can't beat a good Weekend Whip cover.
Okay, I honestly might be cheating a little bit putting this one so high because I honestly think the main reason I am is just based off of nostalgia. Even then, however, it honestly still does everything that a good Ninjago intro needs to. It highlights each character well and gets you hyped up for the season by showing a little bit of their personalities. And of course, the classic rendition of the Weekend Whip is honestly just so good. Upbeat, catchy, and a little cheesy, it honestly fits the vibe of the Ninjago series so well. This one set the gold standard and paved the way for everything that came after it. And for that, I gotta give it a high spot on this list. These next three are pretty much just the first one again, but with more interesting settings that tie them to the themings of their seasons a lot better. The first of which being the possession intro. The standout here is easily the way each individual character shot fades into these beautiful cell shaded images of the characters. They look fantastic and the lighting fits the whole ghost story vibe incredibly well, which is bolstered by the graveyard setting and the way we followed these ghost spirits whizzing around each ninja. And then the ending is great foreshadowing for the rest of the season, with the way it hints at Lloyd's possession. All in all, a fantastic intro that ties into its season incredibly well. I just personally think these next two do it a little bit better. The Skybound intro easily has one of the coolest framing devices of any of the intros yet. We start up in the peaceful and clear clouds as we zoom past each character, eventually diving deeper and deeper into a storm, ending on Nauticon. Not to mention that the order that we see the ninja is the order that they get captured by Nauticon in the season itself, which is just some great attention to detail that honestly wasn't even that necessary. But it's little details like that mixed with an incredibly fitting Weekend Whip cover that placed the Skybound intro on the number two spot on our list. I think Hands of Time is the ultimate example of a Ninjago intro that ties into the theming of its season incredibly well, in the sense that it actually plays around with time physics in the introduction of each character. Time is frozen as we whiz around each ninja locked in a fight scene with a Chronix and Crux, occasionally speeding up or slowing down based off of the beat of the Hands of Time weekend whip cover, which might I add is an absolute banger within itself. This intro has individual character shots, an awesome weekend whip cover, a cool atmospheric setting, and an awesome connection to the theming of its season. And for all of those reasons, it easily takes the number one spot on our list. And that is it. Kind of a specific list, but one that I felt like making regardless. If you all enjoyed, let me know in the comments below. And also tell me if you agree or disagree with my choices and what your personal rankings would be if you did disagree. Hope you all have a great rest of your days, and thanks for watching.